Hey everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back. So today I'm working more on the fall journal um, and I'm almost finished. Uh, I'm to the point now that I'm just filling pockets and I'm doing the cover. So I figured I'd turn the camera on and kind of show you guys my thoughts. So this is what I did for the back. It's just super simple. I just used some music paper and cut some of the um, the fox background page off um, and then I just put a little bit of ribbon at the bottom so that's the back no pockets just plain and simple but I think it looks really cute and then um, my journal was just a little bit taller than what my paper was so I just um, did everything here let me open it um, I covered the whole entire thing in some uh, red cardstock. Um, it was just a 12 by 12 sheet. And then I tore it. Uh, I personally like that look. Um, if you don't, you know, you can cut it to size beforehand or afterwards. It doesn't matter, but I like the torn look. So you see a little bit of the, um, file folder and then the inside, but that's, that's perfectly fine with me. So what I'm thinking is I'm just going to do this. Um, but then I'm not sure if I want to maybe put some spine down the lace or some or some lace down the spine or something like that to maybe uh, reinforce it a little bit. And I figure probably all I'm going to do is keep it pretty simple and maybe just use one of our labels. And put either harvest time or on a magic or festive feeling. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but that's kind of my plan. Maybe we'll put some lace or some fabric on the front of it. And then I had also thought about putting this down by the, the um, paper. But if we put lace down, let me see what lace I have. I went over yesterday and my mom let me braid her lace stash. So I brought home a bunch um, of different laces and some really cool um, doilies too. Let's see. I'm not sure. I didn't bring any wide lace home because I didn't think I would really want it for anything. Now I'm kind of thinking I should have. Um, I don't know if it's really too, too overly wide. Let me see. Maybe we could just put some of this down the... Nah, I don't really like that. Um, oh, I wonder if this... This would be long enough, actually. We could just glue it down the seam. Yeah, maybe we'll just do that. Alright, cool. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. And then maybe we can embellish it a little bit with some stickers and stuff like that. I've been using them stickers that I showed you guys that I created on the Cricut in here. Um, once I get it completely finished, I'll do a flip through of the journal. But I've used quite a few of the stickers in here and I'm really liking them. They worked really well, like even better than I thought they were even gonna. So that's fabulous. Definitely I'm going to have to make some more. And then in um, the squirrel kit that I'm working on, there's a bunch of um, little fussy cut images on, I think it's like two pages or something. So actually I could just send that through the, the um, Cricut also. I think 
that'll be good. So let's just cut this down. Just run some glue down the center. It's just barely longer and that's fine because if I don't like it longer I can cut it but um, I kind of like maybe we'll just cut the border off because I kind of like the the fringe like part or the thing having hanging off the edge a little bit so Make sure we get it straight and because I did the um the stitching and hooked it on the outside when I did that um cardstock it covered my stitching up so you don't actually see it um which is kind of cool I mean it's not exactly the same thing as a hidden spine but I mean, it's kind of close right so Too bad we didn't have another piece that was long enough and we could put it on the other side. Oh, it's almost long enough. Um, I kind of like it. Let's just go ahead and put it down. It's almost long enough, so I think it'll be fine. I love this. I got it at a yard sale, I think, so I don't have very much of it. And it was a bunch of smaller pieces. It wasn't even like one big piece or anything. So Oops. But it likes to curl or curve kind of. So you kind of just have to work with it and get it stuck, stuck down straight. I think that's cute. It kind of looks like a like a little window or something. Um, yeah, and then what if? Ooh, I really like that. So let's do that. Okay, let's cut. Oh, sorry. Look at the camera with my scissors. All right, let's cut this off. Hopefully, without cutting. Any of the inside stuff. And then, oops. And what we can do just put some glue down. Oh. The only problem I'm having with my tacky glue, I like it, but like with the um, with like the Fabri-Tac and the uh, Art Glitter Glue, it dries really quickly. Whereas tacky glue, I mean, I guess as the name implies, stays wet longer, which if you have something that you're trying to, you know, make sure it's in the right spot, I mean, that's a good thing. But when you're, like, not wanting to be real patient and you just want to stick the stuff down and move on, it kind of stinks. So, yeah, I actually really like that. And it still poofs out some. So... Hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll dry okay. I have to go back in and glue some more once it kind of dries down a little bit. Um, do I dare fold it? Kind of don't think I should fold it yet. Not till it completely dries. Definitely think I'm going to have to add more glue. Um, let's just use the, no, let's 
see if I can get any out. My Fabri-Tac is almost empty, so I'm like hoarding it so it doesn't run out. But just gonna have to buy more. This journal turned out to be quite a bit of fun. I did some, I mean, new for me, things that I haven't done before. Um, and then it's decorated. It's kind of not plain as in it doesn't like have any character or color or anything. But plain as in I left a lot of room to... Um, to journal and to add, um, you know, other stuff like whoever gets it can add their own flair to it. Um, and then I figure in some of the littler pockets, so like it has a bunch of pockets because that's my big thing. I love to put pockets, but then I don't always fill them all. Um, so then whoever gets it can kind of add their own their own touches to it and everything. So uh, I'll add some like extra um, tickets and um, tags and things like that. And then you know you can just as you're journaling you can kind of decorate your pages as you go now some of them are decorated don't get me wrong um, and you'll see in the flip through but I did leave quite a few of them plain I did a little bit of stenciling and I think it turned out super cute though I love all the fall colors because again I love I love fall and uh, yeah this kit has been a lot of fun to work with so I think that should be good. Um, I'm not going to fold it yet though because I don't want it to, to mess it up. So let's see if we, um, here's the fabric. So let's get our word. Um, I actually really like Autumn Magic. No, I like festive feeling better. Let's do festive feeling. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be the perfect width. And then, let's just take it to about there. Let's see if it'll tear. Nope. We'll just cut it. If the fabric will cooperate with me, we'll cut it. All right. Right, so I think that's super cute. Like that. Oh, I like it. And then let's put. Should we do a stamp? Or let's see. No, that's too big. I had these leaves all. Oh. Let's see, these leaves turned out really well. Maybe we can do one in the corner. Okay, let's glue this down. And I didn't ink it. I inked some in this page, but then a lot of the stuff that I put down, I didn't ink. So I think, I think it all came together pretty well though. All right, so there's that. And we'll put it 
right about there. Now, should we use some little lace? I didn't use any lace. I just used some of my um, different, I like that though, some of my different um, ribbons that I had gotten. But, I think that there is super cute. So let's glue this down. This weekend, um, I'm going to get some more stuff added in my Etsy shop. I have like three or four kits, I think, that are completely finished. Like, they're just sitting there. I just haven't um, haven't kind of had the chance. The last few days have been just a little nuts. So kind of wore that off a little bit. Let's um, let's find. Oh, no, those are the pumpkins. Let's see where after I get done with this video, I definitely need to clean my desk up because it's a disaster. Like it's to the point now I really can't even find um what I'm working on, let alone like you know anything else. Actually, I like this one. Let's see if this one will peel off. Let's see. Whoop. Oh, we lost the top of the wing. That'll be okay, I think. Let's see. No. Let's see if we can pull it up. That's kind of like wonky. And it doesn't go. Well, maybe we'll just do two leaves. Let's see how that looks. Alright, so I wanted to do one here. And then let's just try and do another one over here. Yeah, I think that's okay. Kind of like um, closes it in and makes it stand out more. And then, oh, well, we could just do it over that leaf. That'll be okay, I think. Super cute. Um, just, this should be dry now. Hopefully. So it definitely got more on the front. Oh, see, that's still not dry. Well, let's go back in with some tag or some fabric tag. should be good this time with the cover or with the with the lace all right so that I think is all I'm gonna do I don't want to overdo it because the inside isn't overdone um so I personally think that I'm gonna call it done I think it looks super cute I mean it's kind of shabby at the top and the bottom and then you have like the frilly tons of the autumn colors and I think it turned out super cute so here's the front and the back um, should we just let's add this leaf just right here just for some cohesion yeah all right I 
think we're going to call it done. So I will come back after my um, ribbon dries because that's going to take a few minutes. I will come back um, in a different video and I will show you guys a final flip through. Um, and then this will probably go up in my Etsy shop. So I just have a couple more things to fill and then I will show you guys how it turned out. So I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.